After hearing from Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, and Bank of New York, Gerard Cassidy, RBC Capital Markets head of U.S. Bank Equity Strategy and Large Cap Bank Analyst. Did you, so you knew all about what was going to happen with Marcus, uh, Gerard? Joe, I, I wish, wish I could say that, but they did uh, indicate at their investor day that they were looking at strategic alternatives, and this announcement certainly fulfills what they were saying. So as, as you reported earlier, they did sell off a large chunk of the Marcus loan portfolio uh, and moved the rest of it into available for sale. Can we extrapolate anything to, to the rest of the world about that? Even Goldman Sachs had duration risks. So there, is there a lot left out there, uh, things that are on people's books based on what, you know, 10, 12 years when it matures and, and not taking into account if it was mark to market right now? Is it still a looming problem? I, I don't think so, Joe, because when you look at it, you, what you said is correct. I mean, there's certainly lower yielding assets on the bank's balance sheets across the board, no doubt about it. Uh, but if you're going to do that, we have to look at the liability side of the balance sheet, meaning you got to mark to market those cheap core deposits. So when you do that, the net effect is not that material compared to just looking at the asset side. It's easier, of course, to look at marking to market the assets, particularly bond portfolios, because those values are easily attainable. But it's tougher when you look at uh, mortgages and other types of assets and very difficult on the liability side as well. Hey, Gerard, it may not be a big deal uh, in terms of a looming problem for some of these big banks if they have these liabilities. It, it, they're, they're not going to be in, in an issue. They have pr plenty of deposits to offset it. But will it be a drag on their earnings if you've got a really big hold to maturity portfolio? Becky, you put your finger right on it. That That's going to be the issue is if rates were to remain elevated or let's say the Fed has to move higher than anyone expects, that's where the challenge comes is that you're going to see the drag on the revenue because you have these lower yielding assets being funded possibly by higher funding costs. That's why consumer core deposits, a Bank America, for example, a Wells Fargo, JP Morgan have enormous amounts of cheap consumer deposits, which will help uh, alleviate some of that drag.